Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, we will discuss what is the importance of anatomy and physiology in the field of biomedical engineering. And we will also discuss why someone should focus on understanding these topics very seriously if they are planning to start their career in the field of biomedical engineering. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. As biomedical engineers, our main objective is to come up with medical solutions that will help patients, right? And to do this very effectively, we need to understand how the human body works. And that is exactly where anatomy and physiology comes into picture. So anatomy is basically the study of body's structure, like where they are located and how they are connected with each other, wherein physiology focuses on understanding how these structures are functioning and working together as a group. Right, so that is the basic difference between anatomy and physiology. So by studying anatomy and physiology, you got a complete understanding on how the human body is functioning. So tomorrow when you are developing a medical device or you are designing any implants or many, any medical equipment, it will help you to make more informed decision. Now what I mean by making more informed decision is basically, let's say you are developing a medical device. So what is important? The importance is that the medical device should be compatible with the human body and it should not create any complications. The device that you are developing should be working in harmony with the human body with its natural function. It should not be like tomorrow if you are developing a device or an implant, a patient uses it and he is having some complications and it gets severe. So basically, anatomy and physiology is a very important topic which eventually helps you to develop better medical devices or equipments or implants with better informed decision making skills. Now, biomedical engineers often collaborate with medical healthcare professionals such as doctors and surgeons to develop more innovative healthcare solutions. So by having a solid foundation in anatomy and physiology, we can effectively communicate and collaborate with these experts. Understanding their terminologies and sharing the same knowledge base enables us to work seamlessly and that eventually helps you to get better outcomes. Now that we have discussed the importance of anatomy and physiology, let's explore why you as a budding biomedical engineer should focus on studying and understanding these topics. Right. The first reason is solid foundation for innovation. Anatomy and physiology helps you to get the basic fundamental understanding necessary for innovation in the field of biomedical engineering. Now, once you have a complete understanding in these subjects, it will help you to have a complete comprehensive understanding on how the human body works. And that eventually helps you to think creatively and come up with more innovative solutions that addresses the unmet medical needs. The second reason is accurate problem identification. To develop effective solutions, it is very important to accurately identify and understand the problem that we aim to solve. Anatomy and physiology act as a guide in this process. If you have a complete understanding of the human body, you can very well identify the anatomical and physiological challenges that the patient is facing. And when you understand these problems, it helps you to come up with more impactful and more targeted solutions that will eventually help you to get better outcomes and solve better problems. Third reason is enhancing patient safety. Safety is the paramount in healthcare. By understanding anatomy and physiology, you will be equipped to design medical devices and procedures that prioritize patient safety. Understanding the body structures and functions, it will eventually help you to identify the potential risks, reduce the complications and ensure patient safety throughout the medical journey. So I believe I was able to give you some insights as to why anatomy and physiology is an important aspect in biomedical engineering and why you should focus on studying and understanding these topics. Now in the next video, I will be showing a complete roadmap on how we will be covering anatomy and physiology. Post that, we will be starting with the online lectures, right? So if you like this video, please press the like button. Do comment any video suggestions if you have so that I can make the videos for you. And apart from that, share this video with your friends and see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay home and bye-bye.